Hey, hey, Leo. Happy June. Thanks for joining me. If we haven't met before, I'm Madeline. And if we have met before, thanks for coming back. Let's see what's going on for you guys in this sunny month of June. <sighs> hmm. It's an interesting way for spirit to put it, so we're going to see what that means. Let's see. But a sunny month. Your vitality is really important right now. Some of you are hopping back on an exercise regimen is the first thing up. Before we pulled a single card. <sighs> first card up. Sorry. That's just like goof. Good. Goodness. Spirit speaks loud and clear. A sunny month. Okay. This is going to be a fun reading. I'm so sorry, Leo. I just have to do this. I said, it's going to be a fun reading. I flip over the next card. Literally the card for fun. Having fun with friends, joining up with people. Okay, I'm going to shut up, Leo. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Wow. Ooh, okay. All right. <laughs> hey, any of you uh, Leos listening to this have any strong cancer placements? Moon and Cancer, Sun, Cancer, Cancer Rising? I'm seeing some, I'm seeing a little overlap here. Okay, we just need one more bonus card, Spirit. To look at this sticking point in a really beautiful reading. What is the devil about, Spirit? What is the devil in June allowing for Leo to understand? That's what I'm hearing. Hmm. All right. All right, Leo. So the sunny month of June, and here you are at the center of your reading, standing in the sun. Like I said, your vitality, your energy, your physical health is very important this month. And I don't feel anything, um, I'm not feeling anything dire about that. I just feel like for a lot of you, maybe it's been on your mind and it's time to like, yes, it's been on your mind for a reason. Let's get into it. Let's take care of ourselves. And this is the other thing, Leo, is this month you want to be as honest as you can be. Um, this is the part where I'm going to preface, Leo, and say, of course, these are general readings. And because it's not one-on-one, -on -one, I'm getting a few different messages. And um, kind of feeling like for some of you, you want to be careful about any kind of like I'm just going to say it like three party situations. So what do I mean by that? I mean, yes, that could be like you are, you have a committed partnership and maybe you're looking outside of that partnership or somebody is, uh, or maybe it's just the temptation of that. We have the devil lined up with that. Um, so if there's temptation around that, that could be a thing. Another kind of third party situation could be, you know, that you like two team members out of three get along or two friends out of three get along and maybe there's an issue with the other one and maybe there's some business that needs to be handled and it needs to be handled as openly and honestly as possible. That's what it feels like. Um, for some of you, the three-party situation may be that you are doing just fine and not expecting anything or doing anything in your relationship that might be considered shady and then somebody pops up from your past like old lover, old flame, um, and maybe like, you, you know, maybe you just get roped into something that's like, whoa, 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 no, like, no, 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 no. Um, everything except this one sticking point looks really fantastic, Leo. New adventure, great love, and when I say new adventure, you've got the Ace of Wands, you've got the Ace of Cups, you've got the Fool, you've got the three of wands. It's like you are, you have already come very far, Leo, and you have further to go. And I think that some of you sense that and some of you really are hoping for and desiring like a whole new beginning. Sitting in the position of what is like potential, what could happen, a possibility, is the fool. Walking out of the cave, walking out of the old way, gaining a new understanding, and it's kind of a jumping in with both feet type of card. I mean, the fool is not the idiot. The fool, though, does have the naivete and the optimism of the beginner. <sighs> the 
there's a lot of love in your life, Leo. A lot of love. Like I said, you have that three of cups of fun and joy and like just going out and literally just like hanging out, partying, ha like be getting together with friends. Um, I'm also hearing that for some of you, the like that number three seems very important. And it really does feel like either there's like maybe a team of three people. Maybe you're all three working together on something creative or something fun. Uh, lean in is what I would say for those of you for whom like a trio really resonates. But there's a lot of every kind of love in your life, Leo. Like if you ever doubt that you are supported and like as I say that, ooh, sorry for the earthquake, Leo. As I say that, I recognize that not all of us have like a solid family unit or or <sighs> the community that maybe we necessarily want. A lot of you do, but for those of you who don't, Spirit is saying like you are not alone regardless. You have a team of people that want want you to, to invoke them when you need them. When you need strength or when you need genius or when you need creativity. Talk to your people. And it feels like you're going to want some of those things in hand because it feels like there's a new stage of life approaching. Some of you are stepping into a new relationship. Some of you are stepping into a new job. Um, and I feel kind of like I want to say some of this is happening fast. Like faster than you might have guessed. Um, the chariot is sitting in the position of what is available to you. Outside forces. The conquering of obstacles, the this the the chariot is like the major victory card of the tarot. Like you have overcome everything that has been thrown in your way, and even better than that, you have used the pain, the struggle, the whatever all the, the crap that has been thrown in your way. You have composted it and made use of it, and actually like made uh, maybe like the objects that were thrown in your path, you made them into a ramp so that you could just like take off. Like, oh, you thought you were gonna stop me. Actually, you're propelling me forward. So the challenges will propel you forward this month. And you like a challenge, Leo, so that doesn't surprise me. When you have drive and excitement for something and you really wanna pursue it, you go with gusto, you go with gusto. Like, I feel like some of you may be, I'm going to come back to this, this devil, because like I said, everything else in your reading is looking so fantastic, but the devil's popping up in your future and the clarifying cards here, the five of cups and the two of cups, the devil, old habits, temptation, things that make you feel low or dependent. So that substance as people toxic jobs, toxic relationships, dead end, uh, dead end situations, frenemies, all that sort of shit. Like it feels like some of it is from the past and it needs to be let go. Some of you, it may be, like I said, the person coming back into your life and trying to get in contact with you. And it's like, Oh no, thank you. Like I'm good. Um, it feels to me, Leo, like spirit is reminding you not to focus on the past and that maybe even sometimes we can idealize the past when we're living in a present that might seem less than ideal. You know, the Five of Cups is the guy focusing and looking at his three overturned cups. And he's so distraught and so caught up in it that, you know, to the point that he can't see that right behind him, he's got two full cups and they're nourishing all these delicious fruits that if he stays there too long, looking at what's empty, what's gone, might not notice these two beautiful cups, still full, upright, ready to flow, ready to exchange. For some of you, this is very literally about um, a relationship. <sighs> the grass is not always greener, Leo. It's green where you water it, as they say. Um, that doesn't mean, Leo, that that you need to stay in the situation that you're in. If you truly are in grief and you need to move on, you're going to know that in, in your intuition. But you're also going to know in your intuition if you're kind of stuffing yourself with fantasies, uh, which is kind of like eating artificially sweetened dessert. 
Like, I keep stuffing this in my face and it's not feeding me. I still feel empty, but I just really want something sweet. <sighs> Give me some sugar, baby. Get you some sugar, Leo. Love is all around you. And here's a trick, Leo, for those of you who maybe are... Uh, are looking for that new relationship or are looking to reinvigorate the current relationship, getting that dose of love and joy and fulfillment and from all the other places in your life, from indulging in your creativity, from hanging out with your friends, from spending time with family, or, you know, whether that's like blood family or chosen family, and filling yourself, that's going to bring you and nourish a true partnership, a true love, because you want to bring the fullness of yourself. And there are blessings that want to come to you. When I see like a couple different aces and the fool, it feels like new beginnings. And the sun is saying you can see what's ahead. You've come very far, Leo. That's the other thing that they keep saying is like, it's kind of like you've come to the top of a mountain and now from the top of the mountain you can look out and see the range. You can see what you're working with. Everything the light touches, Simba. Uh, <laughs> you can see your kingdom. You can see where you want to go and you do want to go. You want to go bigger. You want to burn brighter, Leo, and I see it for you. I see people, this is what I'm hearing, extending their hand to like offer you things, different things that will help you usher in this new beginning. Offering you love, offering you praise, offering you assistance. Revel in the love in your life, Leo. Revel in the real love. Because I don't want you to feel trapped by this devilish temptation. I don't want you to think this is the most I could ever have and that was it. Oh my God, like I had it and it's over. Or alternatively, I have it and it sucks and I'm forever embroiled in drama and strife, but it's what I have and I better hold on to it. Like, no, not that either. If it resonates with you that you're the one who might be holding on to something that needs to go, trust your intuition, Leo. Your free will is everything. Don't ever let this or any reading in your life like come off as like instruction because spirit is always going to say what's for your highest good, but it's your choice whether or not you want to like move on that. You know, you can choose to stay in a relationship. You can see if you can make it work. That's well within your right. And for some of you, I feel, this is what I'm hearing, don't avoid growth by comparing the past to the present. Your future is going to look nothing like your, your past unless you keep looking at the past and then it will look that way because that's what you're looking at. Does that make sense? If you want something to be different, be different, Leo. It's not about changing external anything. It's about you. Something Leo's love to hear, right? It's about you, Leo. It's about, all about you being honest with yourself. It's all about you going for what you want, feeling proud of yourself, feeling shameless, being feeling allowed to want what you want and state it honestly. You're ruled by the sun, Leo. Be honest. Revel in the love in your life. Take on the new challenge, the new adventure. That's what I'm hearing is like, Things are about to open up, go bigger, go wider. And the only ones of you Leos who may not experience that feeling, and this isn't judgment, Leo, this is this is the point of getting a reading, is like, oh, like it's like a weather forecast. If it looks like it's going to be raining in a few days, let me pack an umbrella or let me choose to stay in, whatever. This is so that you can stave off maybe some of the pitfalls, avoid some of the pitfalls and lean into some of the potentials. The only ones of you that I feel like the new life, the new, the new challenge, like the new opportunities presenting themselves, they'll all be presented. But some of you may not see them because you're looking at what you've lost. You know? 
And I love you, Leo. That's natural. And full disclosure, I have Leo rising, so none of this is said from a high horse, okay? There's beautiful chemistry and partnership and love to be enjoyed. So much good love in your life. So whatever form, again, that that takes, that's part of what they're telling you, Leo, is to lean in with your friends, lean in with the creative group of people that you get with, whether you have a band or, you know, whatever this is, because some of you do. It's like I work in a trio or I work in a group. You have so much love on the horizon, Leo. So don't get pulled back from it. Your blessings... This is hard, Leo, because I want to say, like, you won't miss your blessings. But like I said, some of them... You know, if you have your eyes on the, oh, hello, kitty joining us for a Leo reading, there's her tail. Hi, Leo. If you walk into a train station, Leo, and you're looking for one particular person, and maybe there's somebody that you... <laughs> Okay, sorry, Kitty. She's like disturbing your cards. And maybe there's somebody that you used to know. And somebody that maybe for some of you you're even like a little obsessed with. Or there was some very like strong attraction and chemistry there. If you're looking for that person, it's a little harder to see. Like somebody who's trying to bring you something new and beautiful. So like I said, your free will is everything, Leo, but I kind of want to tell you that if you're choosing between doing it the old way and trying it a new way, I think try a new way. I think try a new adventure. I think, like they said, it's you. It's you who wants to embody the change that you want to see. When you change your insides, your outsides change. It's just true. As above, so below. As within, so without. You have all the power to get what you want. <laughs> like all of it. Ten of Cups, the sun, the fucking chariot. Like, you have so much good shit here, Leo. Good shit. I'm so erudite. You have so much good stuff here, Leo, to use. And so much to look forward to. So, don't feel bound by the past. Even if for some of you, being bound by the past means more like, I've been depressed, I've been procrastinating, this is how it's been for months, how could it ever look different? Don't be bound to what has passed. You create your future, and it doesn't have to look like the past unless you keep looking at the past as your reference and looking at the past as your map. There's somebody, or a few somebodies, who want to help you and who want to get in flow with you and who want to see you succeed, Leo. Hello, kitty. Go for it, Leo. Go for it. This kitty showing up a couple times, she has not popped up in any of the, the other readings. I'm going to say that's a big hell yeah from Kitty, Leo Energy, and from Spirit. You have this, Leo. Take care of you. Share your cups. You're going on a new adventure, and you're going to have some allies and some assistance along the way. It's going to be a little faster than you think, but don't be afraid. What you need, you will be handed as long as you keep your head and your eyes up and remember that you're the fucking sun, shining. You don't need any armor. You don't need a crown. You are shining. Love, love, love you, Leo. <laughs> I hope this is helpful, Leo. This is a big reading. Um, let me know if you've got stories, if you've got questions, if you've got stuff that is already coming up or resonating around this. I would be very curious to hear how, how this is playing out for you, Leo. And I just want to say thanks for listening. I really hope this helps you have a better month. And if I don't see you in Magic Monday's video, then I will see you in next month's reading. Bye, Leo.